Health Alert tonight. Antibiotics are powerful. They fight off infections and save lives. But the FDA now warns us that a common class of antibiotics could cause an aortic aneurysm and lead to fatal bleeding. Our Chief Health Editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with more on the antibiotic at the center of this scare. Dr. Nandy? Yeah, Heather, so the class of antibiotics is called fluoroquinolones, and they're used to treat a variety of illnesses like pneumonia, urinary tract infections, respiratory infections, and even the plague. Yes, surprisingly, the plague is still lurking around in some places. Now, fluoroquinolone antibiotics are sold under different drug names, so check your medicines for names like ciprofloxacin or cipro, gemifloxacin or factive. Levofloxacin or Levaquin, Moxifloxacin or Avalox, Norfloxacin or Noroxin, and Ofloxacin or Floxin. All right, so how could these antibiotics cause fatal damage? So Dave, the FDA looked at the latest research focused on studies between 2015 and 2018. And here's what they found, that when patients were prescribed a fluoroquinolone drug, they were twice as likely to have an aortic aneurysm. Now the aorta is a major blood vessel. Its job is to carry blood from your heart into your body. And if you have an aortic aneurysm, this means an abnormal bulge or ballooning has happened in the wall of the aorta. And if it grows large enough, guess what? It can burst and dangerous bleeding can happen or even death. So pretty serious stuff. Very serious. Are some people more at risk than others? That's a great question, Heather. So yes, people who have an increased risk include the elderly, folks with high blood pressure, anyone with a history of aneurysms or blockages of blood vessels, and those with genetic disorders like Marfan syndrome and a syndrome called Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. Now, if you're taking this medication, super important here, please, please do not stop taking it before discussing it first with your doctor because fluoroquinolones may be the only antibiotic treatment to fight the illness that you have. And if you aren't in this high-risk category, the antibiotic could still be a great option for you to fight uh, bacterial infections. But if you get symptoms like sudden, severe, and constant pain in the stomach, chest, or back, you need to get to the emergency room right away or talk to your doctor because this could be, an, could be a really urgent situation. Again, though, don't stop your antibiotics before you talk to your doctor. Really important there. Important advice as always, Dr. Nandy. Thank you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you. And Merry Christmas to you. All right. If you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at AskDrNandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. And don't forget to tune in to this week's all-new episode of the Dr. Nandy Show this Sunday at 5 p.m. The doctor is investigating how today's sports are hurting our children and what we can do to protect them.